Jo from Ebsa Daisy and today we're going to be setting up my August bullet journal spreads. Going kind of very on theme this month and it's all very pink because I'm going to be doing a Barbie themed journal setup. So I've been inspired by the new movie. I absolutely loved it. If you haven't seen it, I would definitely recommend you go see it. So I thought I'd talk you through some of the supplies that I'm going to be using beforehand and I will link them all in the description below the video. First thing is our new pink confetti washi tape and pink Bujo Basic sticker set. So six sheets of stickers in this set. Um, and I'm gonna, I think they're perfect for this setup. They are to coordinate with our new range of journals, but it just so happened that I was doing a very pink spread. So they're perfect. So I've got that and that. I'm also going to be using our new gonks um, and I have Barbie, gonk, she's everything and then I've got Ken who's just Ken so they will be making an appearance. The pens that I'll be using I've got a couple of different Sakura Koi pens so I've got this like really light pink colour it's called actually called pal orange but it comes out quite a light pink I've just colour tested them so the number on that is number seven. I've then got this pink Koi brush pen, which is magenta pink, number 421. I'm going to be using my Pigma Micron 04 as always. I've got a pink Papermate flare that I'm gonna use for some of the lettering. And of course a pencil so that I make sure that I do it right. Um, I've got a couple of spoilers here, so if you are a VIP and you're signed up to the VIP with the VIP stencil, your stencil is on its way. Um, hopefully we're landing today, if not tomorrow. And we've actually gone for a font this month and it's a very Barbie inspired font. And I'm gonna put the lowercase in the VIP shop so our VIPs can get it. So basically I thought with all the hype around the Barbie movie we needed a font that was similar and this one is perfect for that so I'll be using that today and I've also created or Kate has created um, some printables so we've got this Barbie pink with little palm trees we've got a pink stripe and then we've got a Ken inspired it's blue and it's got little horseshoes with a horse head in um, and if you want these printables, they are exclusive to viewers of this video. In the description there below the video, there will be a link for you to either sign up to the newsletter or update your details. When you update your details via that link, you will get an email through with the printables. So totally free of charge, just a little bonus extra for those of you that are watching along on the YouTube channel. So I'm gonna stop talking now and I'm gonna start setting up and I'll hop over to the voiceover to explain what I'm doing. When I started creating this month's spread, I didn't really know what I wanted it to look like. I knew that I wanted it to be very pink. I knew that I wanted some clashing patterns and that it was gonna be fun and kind of playful, but I didn't really know the exact setup. So I spent quite a lot of time before I began just playing around with the papers, laying them over each other, thinking about how the elements that I had would fit together. And what I've decided to use is this waterfall Dutch door layout. I've seen them used quite a lot on social media and I've wanted to have a go at one, but I haven't actually implemented it in my planner yet. So the waterfall Dutch door basically involves adding a number of Dutch door pages that are slightly wider than each other so that you create kind of a fan effect across the page. So for the very first page of this, I've covered the whole page in our palm tree printable. We've called it Just Beach. And then I'm adding this pink confetti washi tape just to the edge of the page just to kind of finish it off. And I'm also gonna add it on the reverse side of the page just so that I've got a nice decorated edge. I'm then gonna use a new toy that I've bought from Amazon, which is this corner cutter. Um, I will add all the links below it, the video in the description if you want to grab one yourself, um, just to give the cut edge a kind of finished look. I'm then gonna add some wording, and for that I'm using our She's Everything font. 
This was a VIP exclusive font, as I explained at the beginning of the video. It is inspired by the font used in Barbie. It's not the exact font, but it's the same sort of look. Very ornate, um, lots of swirls coming off of it. Um, and I'm writing the words, hey August, a kind of play on the hey Barbie, hey Ken, that is used a lot in the movie. So I'm writing that out in the She's Everything upper and lowercase font and I'm going to colour all of that in a uh, black colour and cut it out to add to the front page. So something I learnt quite quickly when using this font is that it is not a quick font. It's quite swirly and because the actual letters themselves are quite fine it does take a little bit of concentration and detail to colour them in and make it neat. Um, I do use quite a lot of lettering this through the video so I have sped up those sections so that it's not quite as painful to watch back um, but it did take a while I think the whole of this journal setup I was probably putting it together for maybe four or five hours which is a really long time for me I did take a couple of breaks in between but it was much longer than my normal journal setup so I'm just colouring in that wording now and cutting it out using um, the colouring in is using my Pigma Micron 04 pen um, and I've just got some basic black scissors that I use to um, cut all the bits out. Um, I have also got my craft knife that I use for the finer detailed stuff. Um, and then going back to colouring it in, I kind of go backwards and forwards between cutting and colouring just because it was quite a time intensive process. But I think it's worth it in the end and I really like this font, it's so cute um, and it really fits nicely with the, the theme. It's also the font that we used on the vinyl stickers that you'll see in the screen here, so the Barbie gonk, she's everything, um, and then there's a Ken gonk where it says he's just Ken, that writing is exactly the same font as, as the stencil. So if you're not a member of our VIP squad and you're interested, then hop over to our website to have a look. I did share the URL previously and I've also added it into the description below the video. You can join our VIP from £3 a month, but for the silver and gold tiers, which is from £8 a month, you get a stencil every month, UK PMP included. There's a whole load of other perks, including discounts off our essential products and a masterclass once a month and a VIP zone on the website and a VIP exclusive group. So tons of reasons why you would want to become a VIP if you really want to be part of a really fun and inclusive journaling community. So I've gone on to create the second page of this Dutch door and I've made it one washi tape width wider than the previous Dutch door, as you can see. So when those pages kind of flip backwards and forwards, it's creating that waterfall effect. I'm just playing with where I want the different elements to sit. And this second page is going to be my Barbie themed double page spread. So I'm using the Barbie gonk and I'm using this um, striped washi, uh, sorry, striped pattern printable that we've called Mojo Dojo Stripes. Um, again, if you've seen the movie, you'll know what we're talking about. If not, then it probably just sounds like I've lost it a little bit. Um, but definitely recommend that you go and watch the Barbie movie if you haven't already. Um, so I'm adding some torn pieces of this pattern printable paper to the corner of the spread. And then I'm going to pop in the vinyl sticker, which has a glitter background, our Barbie gonk vinyl. And I'm going to add some text across the top of this page um, I have sped up the next section by like tenfold just because this writing took absolutely ages probably about 45 minutes just to do this text alone um, with hindsight I probably should have just done the the keywords in the font and added in normal handwriting for the rest of it but I like how it looked at the end it just took a really really long time so this double page spread is actually going to be my control center or my dashboard for the month i'm going to have a linear monthly setup so think numbers 1 to 31 down the side of the page and then a line for each day for me to write in what i'm doing um, important events that kind of thing i'm also going to include my habit trackers um, for the month um, and kind of focus for the month 
I am currently listening to the audiobook Atomic Habits and although I'm pretty rubbish at tracking habits in the in the past I am giving it another go in this monthly setup um, I've been inspired while listening to that book that I need to kind of focus on those habits that I want to embed into my life so I've added them to my monthly setup and one of my habits is actually getting up in the morning, having a cup of coffee, sitting down with my journal and writing my to-do list before I leave for work or do anything else. That's going to be kind of like a ritual in the morning to set up what I want to achieve in that day. The book is great. I definitely would recommend it. I'm not fully finished yet and it is going to be the book that we focus on within the VIP group for the quarter. So um, if you're interested in getting involved, then definitely pop over and have a look around the the vip squad as i've said before so i'm still just cracking on with this lettering um as you can see it is pretty fiddly i'm just writing the outside of all the letters and coloring in the bits where there's not an additional hole needing to be added so the letters like the o the e and the a i've got to go back through and add the holes which are on the bottom of the font stencil and then color those outlines in so that I've got all the right thicknesses for the letters. And I'm getting there eventually, but yeah, this was definitely a labor of love. And the quote that I've used is, it's literally impossible to be a woman, which is said by Gloria in the film. Um, and it really kind of spoke to me, that whole monologue that she does. So I wanted to include it in the spread. Um, and I'm going to include a couple of other quotes as we go through um, that are a bit more lighthearted, but this was kind of the key one and I wanted to give it kind of pride of place on my monthly setup. So that's the lettering done and now I can get started setting up my monthly spread and I'm using our vertical washi tape to do this. Thankfully, the vertical washi tape takes the pain out of <laughs> this process and made it a bit quicker. So I've added one to 31 down the side and I'm now just searching my stash to find the days of the week vertical washi tape to add alongside so that I can see what day each date is. Now, as I'm recording this voiceover, um, I'm sat watching this spread back. I have a little question for anyone that records voiceovers themselves and wondered if anyone could give me a top tip. I find that I get a really dry throat when I'm doing voiceovers, which means that I have to keep stopping, having a little drink, clearing my throat and going back to um, the voiceover, which can make me lose my train of thought a little bit. If anyone's got any tips for helping to stop the dry throat situation when doing voiceovers, I would be very appreciative because I'm really aware when I listen to it back that it sounds like I'm like losing my voice. Um, and I'm not, it's just that, yeah, it's a lot of talking on your own um, to yourself constantly. So back to the spread. I have added highlights in my light orange um, koi brush pen that actually looks pink um, to the vertical monthly setup. And the reason I've done that is just to highlight where the weekends are. I'm now just tracing out in pencil where the habit trackers would sit to make sure that I've got enough room for the habit trackers that I want to include before I kind of commit to them in pen. Um, you'll know if you watch a lot of my videos that I'm not always the best at penciling things in first. I tend to just go straight in with pen, but I'm really trying <laughs> to, to plan it out better. So I have traced where I want them to go and I'm now just adding the headers before I add in the monthly boxes. And I'm literally just doing the outline of the shape of the month so that I can color in those squares when I achieve those habits. And the habits that I'm including, I have included skincare um, because I'm terrible for just using a face wipe. And I know that especially given the fact that I'm now in my 40s, I need to be better at taking care of my skin. Um, I've also put in steps because I'm making a real effort to wear my Apple Watch every day and track how um, active I'm being, um, taking the doggo out for the walk and going for little runs. Um, I'm then going to include, I think I include journaling. Um, now suddenly forgotten what habits I've included as I'm doing the voiceover. Prepare Joanne. Um, so I have included my morning routine that I've literally just spoken about and also reading. I'm trying to read if only a chapter of my book before bed 
um i've got a really kind of lightweight chick lit book that i'm reading um i love reading when i'm on holiday but i'm really rubbish at doing it when i'm not on holiday um i'm too easily distracted by my phone or checking my emails or flicking through tiktok so i'm trying to if only do it for a couple of minutes just a couple of minutes before i go to bed just as a wind down and then i've added a couple of stickers and i'm popping my a goal section just next to where my little lady gonk is um, those stickers that I've included the palm tree and the daisy were actually from our summer um, sticker kit a4 sticker kit our summertime kit that went with the gonks on vacation washi tape so um, again I'll link all of that in the description below so time for the next page in the waterfall Dutch door so I've just again made it one washi tape thicker than the previous page um, cut the edge of that page off and then i'm adding the confetti washi tape to the edge of the pages now i made a rookie mistake here because i'd already cut the curved page on the left hand side with the corner cutter and then i've added washi over the top so i think in a second i go back and try to cut that washi with the corner cutter and realize that it won't cut without having kind of the paper in between so i do end up having to do that with a pair of scissors and not the the washi cutter uh, sorry the corner cutter um so yeah if you're going to use a corner cutter stick the washi on first then cut it otherwise it won't cut but i'm that waterfall is now coming together i've got one final piece of washi to add across the last page and what you'll see is you get the effect that the four pages sit on top of each other um, and you get kind of a wash of that pattern um, I'm then using our page tabs from our pink Bujo Basic stickers, which were designed to go with our brand new range of journals. So they came at the perfect time for this pink, very pink based spread. Um, the washi tape is also from our Bujo Basics collection. So the next double page spread is going to be my content calendar um, and really my work based calendar. It's a traditional calendar layout. I'm using the super easy monthly boxes stencil just to trace out a calendar across the two pages. Um, I would say if you find it difficult to hold this stencil still, then definitely use a little bit of washi tape just to tack down the stencil while you trace all of the boxes and make sure you're well aware before you start tracing where you want your boxes to be because I can't tell you how many times I've been using this stencil and accidentally done two double pages with eight rows across which obviously there is an eight days in the week so that is wrong or traced boxes where there isn't days so like past the end of the month so check where your days are before you start tracing tack it down with some washi tape if you're finding that it wiggles but it makes for a very quick monthly setup so the plan with this spread is going to be for me to create an area for to record everything that's going on with Ipsa Daisy. I'm going to use our month dates sticker sheet from the Bujo Basic set, the pink Bujo Basic set. And I'm just using my tweezers there to add these dates across the calendar. It's definitely a lot easier with small stickers like this to use tweezers to place them. I am a convert to the use of tweezers. Um, and if you fold over the sticker sheet like I have, it just means that they pop up the top and you can get them off much more easily and make this process super quick. So once I've got the dates on, what I'm going to do is create areas on the spread for me to record when there's going to be YouTube videos, when there's going to be YouTube shorts, when there's going to be newsletters going out. And then I can also add in all the dates that we've got things going on across the month from launches to live streams. Um, yeah, subscription boxes going out, that kind of thing. This is really like a homepage for the business. So I've added in all those dates. I'm gonna add in a little bit of this scrapbook paper printable, um, which we've called Kennedy, um, just to the corner of the page. Um, and then I'm adding the Ken Gonk over the top, just to give Ken a little home within the spread. Um, and he's a gl glitter vinyl and it says he's just Ken um, across the bottom. So he's really cute. I love him. Um, 
And then I'm gonna put a little area on the left-hand side at the bottom just to record those YouTube premieres. What we're trying to do at the moment is a premiere every Thursday at six o'clock. So if you're watching this as a premiere, hello, very meta. Um, if you're watching this back at any other time, then definitely follow our YouTube channel so that you can be notified when we have premieres. So I'm planning out here the different dates that we have for premieres this month and also what I'm going to cover in any of those topics. And then also going to add an area for when I've recorded the setup, when I've edited the setup and when I've uploaded the setup, plus a space for how many views that video got in the first 24 hours, just to give me a metric that I can compare what sort of stuff is popular and what sort of stuff isn't. Um, if there's anything that you would like to see covered in a YouTube video, please drop it as a comment below. I would love to know. Um, and the pen that I've used to just highlight those areas is the light orange Koi brush pen, which is much more a pink color than orange. Sometimes I don't know where the pen manufacturers get their pen colors from. And then I'm adding an area to the right hand side of the spread, which is for different emails, newsletters that we send out. And we really try with our newsletter to make sure that we are giving a mix of product information with resource based stuff things that um, help you learn, um, things to do with the YouTube channel or the blog, um, really mixing it up. And we don't send a ton of emails, but if there is different things that you'd like us to cover, then again, drop it in the comments below. I would love to know. Um, do try very much to not make it just, you know, sousy, 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 and give, really give kind of value within the newsletter. Um, which is another reason why on our YouTube channel today we're doing the printables so that it's not just here's a load of stuff that you can buy, but we want to kind of give back by including some stuff that you can have for free. And then I've popped an area down here just to record YouTube shorts, what areas I'm covering and how well the videos have done. And the last thing is just to add in different events that we've got going on. So um, we've got three live streams this month. Um, Kate is live on the 6th. I'm live on the 20th. And then we have a VIP masterclass on the 27th. We have two launches, our Barbie launch on the 3rd. And later in the month on the 20th, we're going to have a Halloween launch. And also our new journal colours will come to the website. At the moment, they're only available on Amazon. Um, and then we've also got our subscription boxes going out this month. So the mini one on the 14th and the big one on the 31st. So the last thing I want to do on this page is just add a header. And again, I'm using the She's Everything upper and lowercase fonts just to write up a daisy, just to remind me that this is my work based calendar, not my personal based calendar. Um, and again, just adding the font and then coloring in all the lettering black. Um, just so that it stands out and also goes with everything else I've done for this monthly setup. Um, hopefully you'll see that these font stencils, although they are time intensive, they do make it really easy to add pretty lettering to your spread without spending loads of time kind of drawing out and penciling it all in which would take a hell of a lot longer than using the stencil. So I'm just adding the middles to the letters, which are on the, the bottom row of the stencil. Um, and then I'm just gonna color all of those in. I've also got on this spread our YouTube shorts section, which is just next to where our Ken Gonk is. And YouTube shorts is a relatively new format for Oopsie Daisy, but it's something that we're experimenting with. We're getting quite good feedback from the shorts. Um, I'm also finding that because someone's watched a short, it makes them more likely to hop over and watch a full length video. So if that's you, hello and welcome. Um, but again, drop us some comments and let us know what you'd like to see covered in the shorts. Maybe we could do a QA and a section um, where I could answer questions related to either our products and how to use them or journaling in general. I've been journaling for a while. Um, anything you'd like to know about running a small business. It'd be quite nice to use the shorts as a little um, kind of interactive format. So if there's something you'd like to know or see, then yeah, drop us a comment below or pop me an email um, and I will see what I can do. So I'm just going through and finishing off this header. And then after that, I'm gonna add, I think a couple of stickers 
just next to where that header is just to fill in that little bit of blank space and the stickers that I'm using are again from the summertime A4 sticker kit just because the vibe really goes with the vibe of this spread and although it's not all pink it's quite nice to have a little bit of highlight color so that it's not just a wash of pink um, because Barbie does use other colors too so now that spread is done it's time to go ahead and create my monthly to-do list and I'm going to call this my brain dump, dump page um, I like to have a kind of master to-do list for the month so that I can write everything I need to do in there and then just take out the individual elements that I'm working on on a particular week and add it to my weekly to-do list all I'm doing is writing out the title for the page which is brain dump again in the same font as before same style as before what I do decide to do is add a few little sparkles around um, this title which I end up liking so much that I go back through the spread and add it to my other title pages they're just like little diamonds with little lights coming out of them um, little lines for the kind of sparkle effect just to give it a little bit something extra this is going to be a pretty plain spread because it is basically for our to-do list but I'm going to pre-mark in my checkboxes um, so that I've got areas to write everything down um, and I'm splitting the page into vertically and then um, four sections across. I like having kind of clusters of to-dos so that I can put together my personal tasks and anything related to subscription boxes, something related to the website, kind of cluster them together so that it makes sense to me in my mind when I'm kind of looking at my to-do list. What do I want to do? What am I working on? What areas do I need to achieve things in order to move forward? So last little bit is adding in the B for brain dump. Um, and because this B is for Barbie, um, I have slightly changed the letter compared to that on the stencil and broken the upline of the B so that it's not attached to the top, which it would be on the Barbie logo. It's not really possible to do that in a stencil because it makes the stencil too weak, but you can do it by just not drawing that section. You'll be able to see when I move my hand what I'm talking about. And then, yeah, let's add in those little sparkles. Um, I think I do that now. Oh no, 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 no. I'm gonna go in and add some more paper. So um, I'm adding my patterned paper printables to the top and the bottom corner of the page. I'm using the um, Mojo Dojo stripes and I'm using the Kennedy um, horseshoes just to add a little bit of decorative detail because although this is a very plain spread it needed a little something a little summit summit so that's why I've added the the scrapbook paper just to give it something extra and I think I end up adding some stickers on there as well just trimming off the bottom of that page I do like to add extra layers of stuff <laughs> where at all possible. Um, my journal ends up being quite chunky at the end. Oh, there's the sparkles that I was talking about. So just adding them around the title just to make it a little bit more shiny and special. So the last thing for me to do on this spread is just add the checkbook boxes that I talked about. Again, just splitting the page up um, vertically and horizontally just so that I've got different sections that I can add in my tasks. Um, and what I end up doing is just pre-writing in, um, like breaking these lines down into boxes so that I can go ahead and add my task without needing to do anything at all. It's just totally set up for me. Um, and this month I'm gonna go back to using the master to-do list method and then just taking over items when I do them each week. Um, I kind of vary backwards and forwards between writing what I need to do in the week or having a master to-do list or just rewriting my to-do list depending on what feels like it's going to work for me at any particular time. This is the time of year for Oops -a Daisy where we have a lot going on because we are prepping for the end of year which is nuts because it's only August but um, 
our Christmas range needs to be ready to go for pre-order in September. Our Advent um, needs to be ready to go for delivery in December, but we pre-order it from September onwards. Um, yeah, we've got a, a bunch going on. So lots of different projects working up with across the board. So it's useful to have um, a master area where I can record all of the tasks that I'm doing. Um, so that I don't kind of forget anything or lose anything and alongside this I do use a digital um, to-do list as well we've started using Todoist um, as a team um, which we're really uh, finding good finding useful I think um, because it means we're all kind of working from the same list but we um, highlight tasks for any particular person so I can see what I'm doing but I can also see what Kate's doing um, and what Tracy's doing and we can kind of move tasks backwards and forwards depending on who's got time to do them so it just makes for a more cohesive planned working environment I would say so with that done it's time to move over and set up my first weekly spread of the month um, completely honestly by the time I got to setting up this weekly spread I'd been planning for such a long time that I had no idea what I wanted this week to look like um I knew that I wanted to include another quote um I needed that I needed a kind of dashboard area which is what I'm creating now so a, a, a space for each day of the week but other than that I didn't really know what I was doing so I'm just trying to figure out how best to lay out the week I've used our Snail Scribbles week on a page um, super easy stencil which is in B5 size for doing these side boxes and I'm just going into my archive of stickers and using a different colour for the Monday just so that it stands out as being not part of August so I actually end up using the stickers from one of last year's mini ones the Click It box. Um, just so that it looks a little bit different really and then I'm going to go in and add some text and the text that I'm adding is a quote that I really liked from the movie and that it was Ken's phrase of as soon as I found out the patriarchy didn't involve horses I lost interest which just tickled me so I'm just planning out in pencil how that will fit and I don't want it to take up the whole page so I'm just going to put the word patriarchy in the fancy font and then the rest of it is going to be handwritten so that it doesn't take up as much room but I still get the whole quote fitted in and looking nice. So now I've traced it all out in pencil I'm going in with pen. My pen of choice whenever I'm setting up my journal is my Pigma Micron 04 um, in black. I get through a lot of these pens and you'll actually see throughout the process of this video I think I had three different pens um, that actually probably need to be thrown away to be honest because they're running out of ink but rather than throw them away I'm just rotating through them to try and milk every last little bit of ink out of them before I go on to a new one. Um, I find that this tip width works well with my size of handwriting, um, it works with the stencils um, I can get the nib through the, the finest parts of the stencil um, and it still shows up nicely on video because if I use a much finer um, tip then it doesn't really show up very well so um, it's definitely my go-to pen um, I use them a lot and we've actually had a delivery this week into HQ so we can restock our supplies on the shop and it also means that I can pinch one for my own use too so I can get rid of those um, half <laughs> half dying versions and start off with a nice fresh pen when I get back into the office tomorrow so that's the the big word I'm just adding in the um, block handwritten font so once I've got that um, I can go about decorating the rest of the page and I was thinking about what I wanted to include it in my in my weekly spread and I definitely want to include some habits following on from what I was saying about listening to the Atomic Habits audiobook um, I want there to be an area for notes and also for my tasks um, and I want there to be some decoration so I'm going to add some more scrapbook paper um, and this month I think I'm going to go through and set up my weekly spreads 
on a weekly basis again I kind of got out of the habit of doing that and started setting them all up at the beginning of the month but hopefully by switching it up and allowing myself to be creative at the end of the week on a Sunday before the week the work week starts again um, it, it's a good mindfulness practice I enjoy journaling um, and sometimes I forget that because now it's my job um, but there's a reason why I started a stationery company and that's because I love stationery and I like being creative um, I'm not the best drawer in the world and oh, that should be I'm not the best artist bad grammar I'm also not the best at grammar um, but I enjoy it I enjoy playing and scrapbooking and and that's the process for me so um, what you see now is me playing around with scrapbook papers and things and deciding what I want this to look like and I decide to go in with more of this um, she's everything font just to write my focus um, so I'm adding the word focus and I also add the word habits so that I can go through at the beginning of the week and decide what are my three focus points for this week? What do I need to get done? What do I need to work on? Um, because it's really easy, especially when you run a small business to just get sidetracked. Um, I sidetrack myself all the time. So just pulling myself back on topic um, I definitely sidetracked the whole team with this little mini Barbie launch, which wasn't planned at all. Um, I went to see the movie and then came into work and was like, right, Kate, we need to create a Barbie range, urgent, um, which I cannot do very often because we just don't have time. But yeah, we basically took a day out of our week and created a whole bunch of really fun journaling planning stuff that was barbie themed which seems to have gone down pretty well from um from what we've seen on social media so far so i hope it was worth the day spent um creating their little ken and barbie gonks um but yeah my real focus for this week is getting the advent calendar and the festive one straight in my mind before we begin to create stuff pricing everything out and working out how is best for us to implement it um particularly this year when the cost of living crisis is in full swing um and as a small business we need to be really aware that i can't afford to go big and and get a ton of stock and have people not purchase it so making those decisions around how much we buy making sure everyone gets what they want but also making sure that we're not left with loads of stock is is what i'm finding i'm spending a lot of time on at the moment and it's really important for us i think the end of year for a planner based business tends to be where we are most financially um, rewarded um, and it kind of covers us for the much quieter summer period so if i make those decisions wrong it can be pretty catastrophic for us as a business so yeah a little bit of behind the scenes of what's going on in my head so that's what i'm working on at the moment just trying to make sure we make those decisions right and that we can cater for what everyone wants um without getting distracted by barbie <laughs> that's basically my life So what I've done here is add in a box and I've just done little squirrely corners on the box just to make it a little bit more elaborate and Barbie like rather than just a square box. And then I'm adding in habits below where I will add in the habits that I'm tracking for this week. Um, I'm going to use the little habit tracker icon stickers um, to track what I'm doing down the, the kind of side panel where I will add in any events and things that's going on so I'm just doing those swirly corners again um, I did mess up one of the corners thank god for Tipex or Snowpake other correct pens are available um, and then I'm adding in habit boxes seven habit boxes to represent the seven days and I will just check those off every day um, when I achieve the habit that I'm focusing on um, and then I start these on the wrong line, so I have to use my tip X again. You can see that I've been planning for a long time by the point that I got to this. So this is when I should stop <laughs> because I spent too long concentrating um, and filming and I was making silly mistakes. So dog walk, um, 
I think I end up tracking water because I'm really trying to be better at drinking water and not just guzzling lots of coffee. And the star is for my morning routine that I'm trying to do every day. Get up, set out my intentions for the day, have a cup of coffee and chill before I kind of get stuck into social media and that kind of stuff. I'm terrible for waking up and checking my phone as the first thing that I do. And I really want to get out of that habit. So I'm trying to replace it with a healthier morning routine. I'm then going to add some more of this Kennedy um, horse printed paper just to split up the left hand page. And I'm just trying to play around with do I want it to go the whole way across or what am I doing here? Um, and I decide to go the whole way across and then just split the bottom section in the end and add a little kind of other area for me to add in information. I've lost my scissors. It's all going a bit haywire at this point. There we go. Um, but we're nearly, nearly done. We're nearly done with the setup. So I'm really happy with this whole pink fest and how it's working out so far. I'd love to know what things you guys are doing for August. Are you, is anyone doing a Barbie theme? Are you all going in with something summery? Um, for those teachers that are on Hollybobs, are you doing anything special? I know we have lots of teacher followers um, while you're on summer break. Um, yeah, let me know, let me know what's going on. So I've just split the bottom section into two and I'm going to add in task area at the top and that's where I'm going to have my kind of to-do list for the week. Um, I am going to just add in a little bit of decoration underneath where I've put habits because I realise now that that looks a bit blank so I go back and add that in. And underneath where I've added my habits I've just written um, just two minutes because that's one of the techniques in the Atomic Habit book is that you start off by doing something for just two minutes, make it a habit and then increase the time up. So um, if I'm reading a book let's just read it for two minutes and if you know you do that every day hopefully it can become a bigger habit. So I'm just adding in some of the confetti washi, washi tape just to add a little bit more pink to the page and more decoration. And the very last thing I need to do is add in some of the stickers to this little area. So I'm adding in the little pink daisies from the summertime A4 sticker kit. And it's time to have a look at our finished spread. So here it is, my August setup. Thank you for sticking with me. This was a long old video and a long old setup, but I love how it turns out and I'm enjoying the waterfall effect. I will definitely do that again. I wonder now if it would have been better if I'd have used different patterned washi tape across there. It'd be really fun to do it with like all the different colored confetti washi tapes to create a rainbow. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's a cute spread. It's very pink, it's very Barbie. I've got some fun quotes and I can add more quotes as I go through and set up my weekly spreads um, across the rest of the month. But there it is. If you liked the video or enjoyed the setup, please give us a follow. It means the world to us. Don't forget to head to the description and get your free printables. You never know when you might need some Barbie themed printed pattern paper. Um, and we will catch you again very soon. Thanks for watching.